let us start with the basics of AQL. So every command begins with the select and then you need to specify next to it basically information about the columns that you actually want to retrieve uh, data. And in that column is the events and flow name fields and custom events and flow properties like we show all that extensive list on the parameters on the first uh, videos. And you can use also in their functions like for example let's say that you have events that have the QID but what you want is the actual description the name equivalent to that QID so all you have to do is to call the QID name function and that will retrieve uh, that equivalent information for you. And here are some examples of uh, the type of function. So for example, if I want to get the network name of a particular source IP, but you use that function, you can actually see that we're going to be using some of these functions in particularly uh, the one for uh, translating the time, the date format from epoch into a human readable name. And you can actually change or rename the title of the particular column instead of having the, the actual name that it has you can use the word as as and actually specify what name you have we'll show examples of that and you can have as many columns as you want but you separate them with the comma or you can actually select all the actual fields by putting an asterisk next to it you put the word from and here you have only two choices in aql one is give me the particular column from the events or logs or from the actual flows from the network events and then you have a good deal of optional uh, elements that you can add to your AQL statement let's start with the where and on the where you can refine what you are looking from on the events and on when, when this uh, for that condition and let me show you some of the conditions that uh, can go on the where actually quite powerful and interesting we, we again we'll show examples of it for here you know one example typically that we use on the where is uh, select from all these event where the log source is a particular firewall that you are looking events from in that way you select the, the, uh, the events only that come from that uh, log source it's optional uh, component is the group by and this tells you how you want to aggregate the data. Let's say that I want to have all the things instead of every individual event being shown. Well, group them by event name. Then show me the, 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 the different events na names uh, that you have. The next one is the having, which is similar to the where, but this is really applicable precisely of the group by so this one comes after uh, the, the group by and allows you to do some mathematical operators uh, on on the data that, uh, that has been uh, grouped by and these are the conditions that go on the having uh, clause for example you know between 128 and 512 uh, things like that sum, average, maximum, minimum, etc. Again, this will become more understandable once we show examples of it. The next one is order by, and this is all about sorting. I want to put things in ascending order or descending order. When you want to limit the number of elements fine let's say let's stop after you find the first 500 so you say well you can put whatever is you're making your search and then limit 500 and then it's going to give you the first uh, 500 of those events and this is when you have when you get a you want to get a sample of the actual event but you don't want to wait until all of them are actually retrieved and the last one is the time frame which is all about uh, really uh, saying well give me all these particular events flows etc on the last five days five minutes ten hours if you don't specify anything because all these parameters are actually optional whatever search you perform is going to give you the ones on the last five minutes